Hello, ladies, gents, and dedicated masochists who just can't stay away. We return to Spelunky 2. Let's go back into the adventure mode. I am determined to make some freaking progress with our friend Margo. She's going to destroy these caves. Finally, this is not the very same day that I recorded everything else. I have posted a good four Spelunky 2 videos by now, so yeah, I, I was looking for you, you piece of garbage. I need to always find you and, and do violence against you. So, the comments have been rolling in, feedback has been thoroughly absorbed, no new knowledge has been accrued, and hopefully, a little bit of know how will be very much on display right here. Am I going to be the greatest Spelunky of all time? Just magically starting this and being the greatest you ever saw. No, no, that ain't, ain't gonna happen for many years. <laughs> no years, but, you know, it'll take a couple months at least of, of steady play and just uh, internalizing everything that we can possibly do in this game for me to come into this game and feel like, yeah, you're watching the expert now, bitch. You know? <laughs> for now, I'm still very much approaching it as a total noob. And, you know, I know that it gets frustrating, don't get me wrong. I also see the likes of Bear Taffy and Northern Lion. Not so much mouth. I find him slightly boring. Like, no this, <laughs> No disrespect or nothing. You know, it's not my jam. Uh, but what I was saying is, it gets a little frustrating to just constantly see dwelling over and over and over. But it's, it's just the process, man. What I'm starting doing instead of watching those videos, I am curious to see how far they got. So I track the video on the little preview window and I see, oh, there's some green. Ooh, there's some other colors after the brown and the green, huh? So, you know, I can kind of track their progress. Anyway, we're going to leave this man alone. We only have $3,000 and he doesn't <laughs> Did I fool you? Did I, did I <laughs> it sound like I was leaving him, letting him die? Uh, I mean, live. Uh, number one. Wonderful new way of dealing with the shopkeepers. You rope right under them, then you grab them, toss them out, steal their shotgun. It's kind of shocking that a method this easy exists. It is something I did not expect, actually. I thought that, that the new design philosophy was make them as unpredictable as possible, so you have to more, instead of plan, you react to the shopkeepers. I feel like that's the the philosophy that Derek Yu and company wanted to go behind it like let's make them so that they're not overpowered demons from space it's just it's harder to predict but they give you a little time to predict so that way you are capable of just playing adaptively instead of just entering negotiations with their fate already decided because you know you know what they're going to do and you make sure that they don't do it you first murder them <laughs> as a matter of course I would definitely say that the shopkeepers have been nerfed slightly I, would, I mean they have become the more resourceful with the entire being able to to find a path to you it was triggered okay so good everything, everything's fine everything goes according to plan everything's beautifully beautifully planned ahead of time so that I don't die horrendously uh, I wasn't the, yeah, being nerfed a little bit just because of that lack of speed that they have and also just they just don't seem to have as much power and it's just like the philosophy has shifted so much to just kill him <laughs> right it's like uh, the items become so much more useful in Spelunky 2 because they are they make such a big difference because the enemies are so much more challenging. It's, it would be nice to get a torch here and be able to roast some turkeys if they, if they exist without spending bombs. That would be great. Um, I seem to always kill the shopkeepers now, no matter what. And I don't think that was the Lord of Pain's use actual intention. I think his intention was maybe make it into more of a decision. But I think if that was indeed the intention, you feel miserably because uh, now I feel it's way, way more of a no-brainer to just kill every shopkeeper you see as soon as possible, even when ha they have nothing useful to sell. 
because the shotgun trivializes so many of the enemies that otherwise give you some serious trouble that getting that shotgun is so such a big difference and it, it, in a way it's a little tragic because there's all these other tools and fun toys to play with in the game but no uh, oh you kind of have to quote unquote grab that shotgun because the shotgun makes everything so much easier <laughs> you know so it's a uh, oh there was a key in the previous level wasn't there and i did not use it i'll have a new jedi now so okay well maybe we'll get places without needing it obviously we're not going to do the the most amazing of feats without the old jedi i am not aware although i have not seen where to use it but i am aware of the fact that the Ujedi is useful in Volcana as well, in Lava Land, because I was told as much in the comments. And, you know, the more I play, the less I give a damn about spoilers. It's like, I just want to get good. I just want to get good. So, obviously, I still like to discover things by myself. But, um, tips and tricks. No, I'm not going to throw a fit because, oh, you spoiled it for me. Eh, whatever, brother. Whatever. We're all trying to get better here. We're all trying to get better. It's going to happen one way or another. What does it matter that you get a, to see a live reaction or not? What I want you to see is a live obliteration of all my enemies all the way to the end of this game. That is what I am interested in seeing. Uh, we still got time, right? Major Stupid desperately calls for our help. All he's going to get is an eternal undeath in the realm of Kali, the renewed monstrosity that we worship just like before hey, look it's a turkey so this guy's gonna be pretty pit oh no he's not that's good that's good let me just get you i do not enjoy this busy work oh man i do have climbing gloves i can do something like that yeah, yeah, yeah. you're looking for turkeys i found one just here oh turns out the turkey became meat and now i have plundered this meat and it was a uh, so great, great meat. Meat meal. All right, let's get back. Quite the idiotic step to not use that key. I just completely forgot it existed because of the stupid ghost. You know what else I forgot I exi that existed? <laughs> My tremendous undying animosity for shopkeepers. And the more and more I feel... Like, they're not all that deserving of it. Even though, you know, they still keep slaves under lock and key and they don't even sell them they just have a prison with a guy with a naked guy in the attic it's like no oh, just for when i am bored and i want to have some good human related fun let's cause some pain to the slave that i have locked up up here oh you want to do violence against me and free him how dare you another thing i've gotten quite a bit better at is giving uh, you know, getting through this idiotic nonsense of getting this guy to roll and something that I have been attempting as well is to destroy this entire thing something also that uh, I will tell you this guy is a massive boon for your daily challenge score it does seem... Uh oh, that's a, that's a bad choice because he's gonna roll <laughs> poor Vigo Vigo did not see that one coming I guess he did see it coming and then he was terribly terribly traumatized this is a massive boon for your daily challenge score although it does seem like now the daily challenge is scored by just how far you get first because something i've been ruminating because i am making that video of what has changed in spelunky 2 versus spelunky hd what's different when you go in and i'm going to hopefully have it ready for the steam release you know, it will be a nice video for all the people that are starting to play Spelunky 2, coming from Spelunky HD. I will give them a nice little introduction on, without spoilers, you know, just learning what's new. Let's go to Volcana. Um, I forget that these guys there. Just do a little bit of murder. Just casual, no, no big deal. There we go, beautifully done. Let's carry on. Um... Ghostin seems to be pretty much dead. Like, you can maybe... I see the experts among us when we get there. 
doing the daily challenge and maybe lining up a few gems, getting the normal ghost to ghost them and then getting the hell out of there because uh, when the ghost split, I just don't see it that ever becoming manageable. Like it may be manageable in very seldom situations where you just have lots of room to operate or something, but uh, I'm trying to work out. Uh, I am sorry, Gronk, but you got into my line of fire. You know what? I have a Kapala and I've had it for a little while now. <laughs> so why am I not causing pain to all the creatures around me and harvesting their blood? I'll never know. I'll never know. Why have I completely neglected spreading out the pain? Kapoof! <laughs> it fills me with, with gleeful murder. Joy. No longer do, do the platforms get destroyed by a shotgun being used. So that's interesting. Oh, oh. Please don't destroy me. Good, good stuff. Yes, yes. Let's go down. Good. I think the man got utterly destroyed in the lava. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think those ghosts will ever become manageable? I honestly don't think so. I think it will be like, I am sure that we are mad man somewhere out there that will manage it. And then everybody will aspire to do, to do that. I would like to go into that, uh, that, that under key area. If only because it's there and I have lots of explosives. Good enough. Well, I can no longer get in there without the use of more explosives. That's all right. That should actually destroy that air. No, it didn't. Should be able to just throw it like here. Oh, what a beautiful scrap. Fantastic. All right, can we get in there in the next 50 seconds? Those ghosts are just, it, they're a deal breaker. They're a deal breaker. And that's probably why they decided to make the daily challenge into something. Oh, well, there's this guy. Hello. Ha! Tusk would be happy about this, but thank you. Okay, I will spare your life because I am a very, very people person. I am not the kind to just resort to random violence. You guys know me. I'm not that kind of guy. I just don't. I'm going to, to just randomly murder people? That sounds terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Here's a drill that we have never really learned what to do with. Maybe I just need to bomb around it. There seems to be some kind of, uh, let me look real close here. I'm, I'm getting my face right up to the, the shopkeeper still there. I'm getting my face right up to it and it actually looks like the shape of the Ujara. <laughs> it's a, there's an eye in there. I had never actually looked at it closely. So I think that may answer that question of what is there to do with the Ujara in Volcana. Obviously, if I had not had that little bit of advanced knowledge that hey there is a use for the Ujedi. maybe i wouldn't have made that connection just now i don't know why i stood here and just took it <laughs> that was slightly bizarre but hey let's just go back maybe this time around i can grab the Ujedi. that would be great that would be a, a great boon for my prospects of actually doing things instead of randomly going forward something that i was wondering about and i would look Bats are difficult, and I will uh, adhere to to that assessment, no matter what you say. Uh, something that I've been wondering, and I still don't know, I still can't tell whether it's a matter of perception or is it truth. Can we fall one tile lower in uh, Spelunky 2 without receiving fall damage? Or is it just that their blocks, the tiles, they look bigger now? So it feels... Did I just think I sure took damage? Wow. Uh, it feels like I am falling further. Uh, uh, oh, but now he's not going to be stunned, is he? Actually, I have not tested this, so I should test it. He does get stunned. <laughs> this is overpowered as hell. Oh, wow. That is disgusting. How easy it is to kill shopkeepers now. That is just insane. Why would you ever use any other method? like the, the shopkeeper killing video is going to be really really short just lure them out put all the items in place in a in a very nice 
patterns so you don't destroy them. It doesn't matter whether the shopkeeper moves or not. <laughs> then just use a rope and you won. <laughs> Makes shopkeeper killing. So trivial. So trivial. I wouldn't even be surprised it gets patched out. It's so easy and trivial. Uh, completely trivializes. I know I'm using the word trivial a lot, but it is the one that fits. Um, completely tri trivializes the shopkeepers, honestly. <laughs> I mean, the first encounter with a shopkeeper. The thing about shopkeepers is that they are so much more powerful in numbers now. Because they have this way of finding you that they didn't have before. Being able to climb through ladders is just outrageous. Why didn't I just blow up two turkeys at the same time? I honestly do not tell you. But I have done it. Feeling pretty good about it. No sticky bombs. There's no real reason to go in there. Let's just go through. Mm. That is disgusting, absolutely disgusting, and in a way, I want them to patch it out because I really did like the concept of shopkeepers just being really unpredictable and having to react to them when you first try to kill them, as opposed to just, okay, I'm just gonna rope under them, eh, it's over, <laughs> you know? But anyway, that level mood that we just saw, it echoes in here. I believe that we have reached the conclusion in the comments. I didn't put this together, but somebody suggested in the comments that it makes all the sense in the world. Please come out, uh, Mr. Mole, so I can sacrifice you to my dark goddess. I'll be very, very thankful if you did that. But you're being just terribly stubborn, aren't you? Just, there we go. Fantastic stuff. It echoes in here. It's an extra deep, ch uh, extra deep level. Cool. <laughs> I enabled, by the way, auto run because on the controller it makes all kinds of sense. You're constantly pressing down a uh, button that gets uncomfortable to press down. Why did I use that when I could have simply shotgun, shotgun jumped? Well, I have plenty of ropes, so we're fine. Spring shoes is very good. Very happy to have. Um, echoes in here. The level is going to be super deep, and I guess we're going to verify that now. There was some doubt whether it was the truth or not, but if we get a super deep level, that's going to be it. And it makes sense, though. Okay, well, we can make this jump, no problem. <laughs> that was very, very small disappointment. Look, this is this was a warm up, uh, a warm up level that we I was not terribly attached to. Look, uh, this is just the instant restart. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's just go back to. To the dwelling. Everybody loves dwellings, right? This is the easiest and most wonderful place. I will not walk back that assessment that I have become so much more consistent getting out of here. But more consistent doesn't mean 100% success rate. But we're getting better. I'm telling you? And I guess you'll just have to trust me because uh, there's no evidence of that just yet. But it's coming. It's coming just now. Just for you to watch. Okay, let me let me see, uh, Mr. Shopkeeper. Can we humiliate you every time? Every time? Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> oh wow! All those bombs—they belong to me now. It really is a shame. It's getting free items at the low, low price of having a mild inconvenience at the exit of every of every level. Let's just carry this turkey to other turkeys because. Well, I do have 31 bombs now. I'm still going to be trying. Is there any worth to actually giving this turkey? I'm still going to be trying to maximize my bomb usage. So, yeah. So I'm still going to try and kill all the turkeys at once. I hate you, moles. I also hate you, lizard. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just continue carrying this uh, turkey all the way to the... Actually, we're we'll just going to... It's not exactly what I wanted, but that's fine. Get rid of the mole! So we can have a little bit of extra help. If there's... Holy crap, you better don't... Better don't go crazy with that. It's a very expensive, very powerful toy. Caveman, do not trust you with it. Where are all their other turkeys? No, we have not pissed off shopkeepers yet, alright. 
Uh, Alright, well, no, no more turkeys were found, so I suppose we're using a bomb to get an extra point of health. Of course, not before. We save our wonderful little trepanator. Come with me. You maximum rodent. There we are. You're an absolute unit. You're you're a one hell of a freaking hamster. I know it's a mouse. I'm going to call it a hamster. Because that's the way I feel like. And if you don't like it, well, leave a very angry comment. And I will be very, very sad to see it. And we may have a very important discussion on the importance of proper nomenclature. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I could not tell you. I could not tell you a single reason why I just did that. But hey, now we are on a very, very interesting... Very interesting time attack mode. Let's see if we can uh, find the chest and key, which we did. Look, what's the worst that can happen, right? Where's the worst that can happen? We don't have a whole lot of time. Get the ghost all the way to the top, please. Or, you know, just create the division and immediately trap me into where I was. That's all right. Everything's fine. Uh, I thought that we actually had a very important chance and uh, then we didn't because the new ghost is basically impossible <laughs> the double ghost it is still it's still doable the double ghost is still withable quadruple ghost i don't know about that and i have not seen the octuple ghost i know it exists is this uh okay it won't it won't trigger as i go in through here what's i saying Oh, that's right, this guy is, is hostile. It's, it's not a great idea to go in there. It just seemed like he was visiting. Okay, fella. You have things, and I want them. So, there's that. Steal your stuff. You're absolute garbage. Sure. So, I'm gonna try to take this back. Alrighty. Yeah. I do want to test something, though. And I'm going to test it, and if it means I die, well, I'm only 1-2. I want to find some spikes. Because I have this feeling. I have this feeling that the teleporter pack actually saves me from spikes. It's not me hitting that uh, teleport button more than I should. Well, never mind. I probably am dead. I'm not dead. What is this? Great. Die, lizard! I hate you! <laughs> I'm there. Get me... Why do I constantly forget that I have the freaking teleporter? It's just absolutely idiotic. Um, I think the teleporter pack, in fact, saves you from spi spikes. I wasn't uncontrollably hitting the teleport button when I got teleported constantly through the spikes. It's just that it saves you. And that is a wonderful new addition. We're already in 1-2, huh? Okay, I am pretty certain this thing exists is a very seldom found secret in dwellings called the Ujat Eye. This is like super advanced stuff so I would not blame you if you didn't know about this. Boy, I don't even have to work at it now. <laughs> this is uh, this is quite sad. Poor, poor shopkeeper. Constantly getting the short end of the stick. For all my hubris uh, against shopkeepers, though, sure get wrecked a billion times by everything else in Spelunky 2. Uh, spike shoes. Well, that is not exactly the plan I had for that lizard. But I accept it. That arrow trap has not been triggered. I need to find that widget eye, though. There is the cave. We'll go in there. Everything has been just warm up, up until now. Don't worry about it. Don't think that I am suddenly ultra incompetent. It's just been uh, a lot of really intense warm up. And now this is the real deal run that's going to go places with the Ojarai my inventory. I really am very curious about that drill though, so we're going to go there. Or at least try to get the Ojarai to that spot. I would also love to get this damn mole into Cali's altar. And I suppose that a dead mole is better than no mole at all. We are kind of close to that Kapala. Man, only one dash to this. This run has been very, very slow. 
Give me another Caliante. That would be glorious. More bombs. Death upon you, you garbage creature. Uh, but something I very much adhere to. These turkeys. I think they can make or break a run. They are so, so damn important. To get that extra health. Let's just maybe get that done. Destroy everything. I don't think this man takes it kindly, though. When I go in there and show him the dead turkey, he has a very big turkey hard on. So let me just preemptively stop that from happening. You may think that my measures are slightly, slightly drastic. Just resort to just murdering everybody. I got an 11,000 jetpack. I kind of like this power pack. I'm going to stick with this power pack. I know that the jetpack probably will solve most of my problems. And this power pack is just fun. And that's something that I would like to have as a policy in general. Not just go with the best option, which is shotgun jetpack. It continues, I believe, by the way, I believe it continues to be that way. Should have definitely whipped this into, into a turkey. Delicious roast turkey. Um, it continues to be shotgun jetpack. Best configuration out of everything. But especially as we get better in the game and, you know, experiment some more and try to make different things happen. Evil, evil mold. Make different things happen. I will more and more try to forego certain things. I completely forgot that this guy was still here. I would not have triggered that, that urn, but we should be able to just go. All right, let's go. I really shouldn't forget that those guys are at the exit because I find them in every exit because I piss off the shopkeepers every single time. And yet somehow I still have it not completely present in my mind. I don't know why I'm coming here to see if the skeleton key spawns because I already have one. So kind of dumb, kind of stupid. All right, let's go to Volcana. No spring shoes, no jetpack. So this guy becomes a little bit trickier. And I did say I want to go to Volcano. Let's just uh, double trigger him. Th there is something I want to sh show you, though. Because I have seen it. I still don't know what's the deal. I don't know what's the deal. I don't know what is supposed to happen with it. I am extremely curious about it, though. And let's see if we can actually make it happen. Could you please roll this way again? That would be great. Hey, fella. Hey, use one of those skulls to make it a roll. Something that has been said in the comments and something that I discovered by myself. Because I have been experimenting quite a bit because this guy was frustrating for quite a while. And now he will still kill me now and then. But I don't feel nearly as intimidated by him as I used to. Um, as is the, the case for, you know, every freaking enemy in Spelunky. Well, he can just kill himself. When he gets down to about i think i can maybe even discover it with bombs especially with this power pack let's do something like that and then put another one here there's an entrance here i didn't see it oh it's somewhere in here there's a door and i have no idea how to open it but i am extremely curious about it i don't really want to be spoiled in that i would like to save major stupid but too much work too much work major stupid i'm just going to leave you behind just uh, come down here. Don't stop it, you evil, evil things. Right there. Grab me that. Murder, murder. All the part of the part of the standard procedure. All right, let's see if we can cram that Ujarai into that slot. Why are they always dark? <laughs> oh yeah. No. Oh, still alive though. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> and that's why the. Shotgun, perhaps not always the answer. <laughs> anyway, I don't think even this does anything, right? This will just bounce off. I do want to test it. How about the whip? Does it do anything? Look at that. It doesn't do anything. I just need to bomb this guy. He is a stalwart guardian. There's nothing I can do about him. Did he survived that. He survives even explosions. Madness. Madness, I said. Think about the pack. And by the way, something that I did discover. Oh, yeah, yeah I already told you, but it's been in the comments, so I, I wanted to 
to show you again, but then I realized, oh, it has been thoroughly shown. I think that drill doesn't always spawn here, so I think we'll just have to make our way through this dastardly, dastardly evil place. It shouldn't be too hard, though. I think the main difficulty is going to be... Oh, nice. A very easy damsel here. The main difficulty is going to be the shopkeeper at the end. Because it is dark. Can't really see where the hell he's at. But hopefully this extra health that we're going to be picking up is going to help me out quite a great deal. A key, you say. And just places to go. Eh, get a bombing here. Boom! A real way back up, unfortunately. I guess I can use one of my last two ropes. Eh. Or I can just go through the exit. Whatever makeup. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Very intimidating. And we're dead. Because our pack caught fire. <laughs> it's alright. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to... Going to get places again in no time whatsoever. Look, I, I have proof of concept. I got to... 4-3 in that blessed run that we had all the way to the City of Gold. So, I want to see nobody doubting that I am capable of things. Yeah, I may be choking a little bit. Still, though, my ability to do things, it remains. It's just difficult. It's just a difficult time, especially that damn dark level. I'm going to, to put it down to the dark level. It was the fault of the dark level. There's no real reason to move these. Let me just get him somewhere easy. Easy shopkeeper death. Hell yeah. And uh, some really good items too. Very, very pleased to have these. Alright. We're going to get places. This, this is the run right here. It may be 32 minutes in. But that simply means that we're going to have a one-hour video. It's just the way it is. That's the way you must accept that things will develop. And if you think you, you freaking dare, even for a moment, bet against me. I mean, against my odds and my ability to get through this entire ordeal successfully. Eight. how hard... It is to stump these guys. Uh, I have spike shoes, so I'm trying to be careful. Charge me. Do that. No, stop! <laughs> Why is it so hard? Why is it so difficult for me to just whip things? Holy crap. Ah! Made it happen. Made it happen. It only took 70 attempts. I'm going to 100% blame the controller for all time. I'm still doubtful and what am I going to do when I don't have the controller to blame and I just need to own up to my problems uh, getting things done, but we're not there yet, so we're not there yet. So for, I'm going to relish these PlayStation 4 times and embrace the fact that I have a ready excuse for whenever I'm incompetent. But you got mounts, a whole bunch of mounts, and another turkey over there. Unfortunately, no bombs makes me terribly sad. But not so sad the fact that there is another Kali out here. Uh, should we open it back up without too much trouble? Like uh, this. Uh, it's doable. It's doable. It's just the recoil is a little difficult. Oh, I have <laughs> uh, spring shoes, you buffoon. Does it get mad if I sacrifice a turkey? I think that we already found this out earlier. All right, let me uh, deal with this aggressive, aggressive son of a bitch. I think he can get up here. Yeah, he can totally get up here. And that's what I'm talking about. They're so much, so much more resourceful now. That's okay. They're so much more resourceful now. And you're stupid. You are the most beautiful sacrifice of all time. That it's not just that they can climb ladders. 
they are also capable of jumping much narrower paths. They have a much easier time navigating the tunnels of Spelunky. Look, I had nothing to do with the turkey side. You're just being a total weirdo, taking out your frustrations on me. Can we freaking believe this? I mean, no, why not? Right? Why not grab this? Dog! Not even going to sacrifice. We're just going to legit have a fire dog. <laughs> did not expect this man to be here. Glad things turned out the way they did. Only three bombs. Maybe we want to come down this way. And start shooting. Man, this is a tricky spot. Maybe do something like this. That's not gonna work. Holy crap. That was 100% planned. Too much skill for you to even witness. This incredible amount of skill brought to you by Race Shadow Legends. Best game of 2019. Absolute incredible graphics. And my favorite champion is Gonad Master. With his enormous ball sack, he will just blast him across the freaking screen. And just obliterate you. Uh... <laughs> Let go of this mount. This mount is not productive. All right, roll. Approach my mount. See if I care. Your aggression is noted and, in fact, welcome. All right, fella. I, I am. In, I am determined to showcase this damn. Well, okay, never mind then. My determination has nothing to do with reality. So I suppose we'll just keep going. Eh, eh, before you do this, if you look at the exit, there's no dangers at the exit. That's going to be standard practice. It needs to be done that way, because otherwise... Look, nobody cares about these damn bugs. A little bit more money in my inventory. Who the hell cares? I would like to kill these snails. It's not like it matters. We're just going to start shooting from this side. Yeah, baby. Five health really feels like I should be gathering way more than that. With this Kapala in my inventory. There's the beautiful Major Stupid the Third. So that he uh, does not get what he deserves. He gets what he got though. Oh, fire everywhere. My fire dog would probably be helpful here. This is just Gronk, right? I think Gronk, you should be a blood donor. There we go. O positive. O positive. Fantastic. Maybe O negative will have been better. But it'll do, I suppose. That's a key. And then up there, Mr. Bram Stoker guy. I guess Abraham Lincoln. Vampire Slayer. Let's go. I don't even know what the hell I want this key for. So he's there. Oh, of course, there's a a key door right there. Derp. We can just get a diamond out of this weirdo. And quish. I don't want to hit the whip button. Uh. <laughs> what the hell, man? What the hell is happening? It is so bizarre. Why would I hit the hit button, the whip button there? Just my aggressive instincts just taking over. I am so ingrained with my violent tendencies that uh, I just can't help myself. And I realize it's been 38 minutes. Normally, I would just say that is enough for a Spelunky video. But look, I'm not gonna blue ball, not just the audience, I'm not gonna blue ball myself. This display is pitiful, and I will make freaking Volcana into something worthy of watching, damn it. This is just out of control. I want more health, or I have wasted it in the stupidest way possible. Holy crap, I can't freaking believe. Like, I was going out of my way to liberate that guy, and I just happened to rest my thumb on the whip button. There's no reason to hang out with uh, Trepanator here. Let's just, just, we'll just turkey ourselves. Let's 
absolutely hate lizards. <laughs> lizards are the scum of the earth. Hmm. I guess I could just murder you, right? But instead, I'm just going to take it easy. I'm going to go for the exit. It's all right. Free health. Ain't nothing to sneeze at. All right, at least... Oh, no. I thought that was the Ujara area, but it is not. There we go. Just keep moving things around. All right. Yep. Continues to move. Babysitting keys. The, the, my, my favorite part of splunking. Babysitting stuff. All right, there is the there is the place where we must go. Six ropes, so we can. Oh, thought for sure that will open the way. Am I safe here? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right, because with the new range of bombs, it's like now they do two and a half tiles instead of just two tiles. Feels like they're gonna get you far more often. Okay, so that's three health right now. Get Trepanator to the exit. He'll find his way, I'm sure. Is there anything to be found here? Actually, that will not find his way whatsoever. Let me just grab you, Trepanator. We're going to babysit you a little bit more actively. I am sure now it will definitely find his way. Shopkeeper's still not pissed. This should work to trigger everything. There we go. Alright, there's the shopkeeper. This should work, right? Oh, what a beautiful nothing but net. Nothing but net. Beautiful shot. We didn't kill the guy, but I'm feeling pretty good at the arc of that bomb. That one uh, hit the rim a little bit. This guy's annoying as hell, though. Well, Trepanator, uh, we were trying really, really hard to save you. Oh, there's more than one. More than one garbage scumbag. I am sure one of these shots is going to do it. Does the icon stop happening once they die? That's a poor shot. I just want to get in there. There we go. A little bit better. <laughs> He's out. This one should have a much better chance. Oh, wow. This place was extremely challenging to actually get into, so not even feeling bad about wasting so many bombs. All right, look, it's a tough time. It's all right, we're in 1-4, 1-4. Most trivial, most trivial level of all, right? 1-4, most trivial level of all. It is the way it is. We have accepted it, more man land. I know his name is like Razorback or something silly like that. Mole Man. He's Mole Man forever. I do not care about the proper name of things. I'll give things names that I feel are warranted. Well, one day we're going to see that extra door that I keep telling you about. It exists. You can just take my word for it. I'm sure you guys have seen it at some point. But it's like real deep in there. I'm inside your mama's rectum, and it's a very, very upsetting mystery. I am sad about missing out on the Kapala. The Kapala run, it was uh, super good. It was so great. Hey, look at that. We made it to Vulcana once more. Now all it takes is for me not to be an absolute moron garbage useless piece of trash. Can I be a little bit better? than absolute moron garbage, useless piece of crap, because, man, it would be great if I could ascend beyond being an absolute moron garbage, absolute piece of trash, trash, garbage, trash, gobbler thing. These guys, I believe that he, they can actually bounce up here. They are capable individuals with an agenda he can try to make it up here too. Okay, the lava is going to take care of these people. Don't worry about it. So good. So wow, what a amazing Neo moves. Look at this guy. Amazing powers. All right, so we have lots of bodies for Callie. She's always pleased to get some meat. Oof. 
does this piss off Kali? I think he'll... Yeah, he'll... Eh, that'll piss her off, though. Oh, no. I'm on fire. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's bad. <laughs> I just want to kill him. <laughs> oh, Kali is so mad. Just want to get rid of your servants, Kali. I'll get back in your good graces. Oh, lava blob. Can you get me? You can't get me. Please don't kill me. Ah, my rope is gone. <laughs> this is so... Like, I'm feeling the pressure, brother. This is uh, just too much. Let me get out of here. This this was all cursed. That entire level. It's cursed as all hell. I was about to be like, oh, we can just blow up this area and uh, get rid of the lava. That, that's not the way things work anymore. But I will do that simply because it gives me access to Trepanator. Or it should give me access to Trepanator. It should also work. That's not what I wanted. It'll bounce right there. There we go. Wonderful. Spare no expense in the saving of this rodent. Will you no longer cling to ropes as you shoot? It's super important to keep in mind. Yangshi? Don't kill me, Yangshi! <laughs> oh boy. Huh? Yes, perfect. 20 seconds. All the spiders up there are gonna actually be a little upsetting. Alright, go through that nonsense. That was way harder than I had any right to be. Amazing. Alright, well, extremely curious to see the outcome of this. Vigo. I'm going to not be stupid. I have killed you so many times trying to free you in a situation like this. Much better. Much better. All right, we'll come back for you, Vigo. You're a good kitty. You're a good kitty. Roll the cat. Who's a good, fat, rolling cat? Yes, you are. Oh, man. Oof, we went straight through lava, huh? That's gonna complicate things a great deal. Let's see. Can we maybe go through here? It'll uh, make a hole. This trap is gonna have to dig real deep. Keep going. Keep going. It's going to keep going all the way to the bottom. Is that how I'm going to spend my time? That's a probable maybe. It's just look, the lava is uh, too damn deadly. It's too damn deadly. And I believe there's just no limit to how far down this thing goes. So it will continue digging for me. Make my life easier. And I don't think this rope will be out. Okay. I think it counted like it was being blocked. Oh, we have dug ourselves a path all the way down to the bottom of the level. And there's a shark keeper there. Question, does the trap go down? No, you need to be close to it. Alright, that's what I wanted. Be careful with the trap. Is it coming? Whoop! Okay. <laughs> Uh, and that's our path to the exit, but that's not the exit. We need to go through the drill. I assume the drill either points the path to a different exit or is the exit itself. Now, who was Leprechaun. I mean, there's no real reason to kill it. And can I kill it? That's a, that's a better question. They seem to be <laughs> tricky individuals. Dastardly little son of a bitch. Me that clover probably a great addition in case I get wrecked how far down did that drill go slowly making our way through this volcano just leave that alone a shield huh I don't know where that spawned oh man it goes real deep doesn't it like your mama uh <laughs> can I back up though how far are you going <laughs> we're going to make an alternate route here because the damn lava is complicating things a great deal and i wouldn't be surprised holy crap that power kick should have murdered me i should be dead right now for the power of that power kick. ok 
Okay. How far down does this go? So glad we have all those, uh, all these legally acquired bombs. Okay, well, we're, we're finding out. Yep, uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, <laughs> turns out. Oh, there's another exit here. I was about to say, well, if that's the way I'm supposed to go, <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> but there's another exit here and I'm not going to oh because of that I was about to say I'm not going to go back up there's an exit here and then there's an entrance huh oh, don't touch it really this is just another level huh it just travels all the way through oh we are in hell itself all right Sounds very, very, very Transylvanian-esque. This is Vlad's castle. I know it. I can tell. It's Vlad's castle. We have a brand new alley. Oh, jeez. I know for sure. Oh, wait. Can't get through there. Oh, well done. Well done, old lady. You were... I mean, I don't blame you. You were just senile. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh! Teleportation! <laughs> What the son of a whore? <laughs> the Dark Lord of all vampires. He relocated to a large castle deep in South Volcana. Well, instant murder. Vlad has some new incredible powers to his, at his disposal, and uh, he just caught me off guard terribly. I was terribly humiliated. And now I have become a, ver a vampire thrall myself. I look forward to my continued existence as an undead servant in Vlad's castle. It will be a wonderful existence full of uh, blood drinking and bitches. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, don't get caught off guard by the Lord of the Undead. <laughs>